Happy new month, Chef Kids. Auntie Laurel here, and it is time for our Steam in the Kitchen Club activity. How to make ice cream in a bag. Our ingredients are one cup of dairy-free milk of your choice, two tablespoons sugar, one teaspoon alcohol-free vanilla. Other items that we need are two sandwich bags, one gallon bag, four cups of ice, one third cup ice cream salt, our clean surface to do our experiment. We'll need a large glass. We will also need a measuring cup for our salt and measuring spoon. Step one, you are going to place one of the quart bags in the glass and fold the top over the edge of the glass and then you'll grab your milk. Step two is you'll measure out one cup of your dairy-free milk and you'll pour that into your quart bag. Also part of step two is to add your two tablespoons of sugar to your dairy-free milk inside of that quart bag. And you can use any sugar alternative that you would like, maple syrup, monk fruit, anything like that if you would prefer not to use the sugar. Here I use the turbinado sugar. Again, in step two, you're also going to add one teaspoon of your alcohol-free vanilla extract, and that will go right into the same mixture that has the turbinado sugar and the dairy-free milk right in that quart-sized bag that's in the glass. Now moving on to step three. Now you're going to seal that quart size bag that is in the glass and you wanna seal it very good and remove as much of the air as possible while you're sealing that bag. Now we just want to make sure to combine our dairy-free milk, our sugar, and our vanilla in the bag very well. Step four is that you're going to place the bag of the ice cream mixture inside the other quart bag. You're going to remove as much of the air as possible and then seal that second bag. Step five you're going to grab your gallon bag and place your four cups of ice into that gallon bag. It probably would be better to have all everything measured out, but you are going to measure out a third cup of your ice cream salt or your rock salt. This salt is a little bigger than the regular salt crystals that you see. So you want to measure that one third cup and you're just going to pour that um, one third cup of rock salt into your bag that's full of the ice. Step six, you are going to place your double bagged ice cream mixture in the gallon size bag and seal it completely. You don't have to worry about the additional air that might be in there. Now here's the fun part, Chef Kids. You're on step seven, and that is to shake the bag for eight to 10 minutes or until your ice cream mixture becomes solid. Now, eight to 10 minutes might seem like a long time, but make sure to use your parent's phone or your own phone as the timer. Just put 10 minutes on that and start shaking profusely. You might, like me, have to get some, um, some ingenuity going and switch to something that's not going to have your hands so cold. So you can do that or use some kitchen gloves, either or. Okay, chef kids, while we're shaking, I want to talk about the kitchen science behind ice cream in a bag. 
When making homemade ice cream, the temperature of the liquid ice cream mixture needs to be lower than 32 degrees Fahrenheit so that it will freeze. The ice cream salt works with crushed ice to create a brine with a melting temperature lower than 32 degrees Fahrenheit. The larger rock salt crystals take more time to dissolve, which allows for gradual cooling of the ice cream. This effectively freezes the mixture to create a yummy, smooth ice cream texture. So now you guys see that the texture is like soft to serve ice cream. This is so cool. You can also place your ice cream inside of the freezer for 30 minutes to an hour so it can solidify even more. Then you can scoop it into a cup or a cone and enjoy. All right, Chef Kids, it is now our moment of truth. We are tasting our ice cream in a bag to see if it is as yummy as it looks. And so here is the moment of truth. Mmm. It is very good. It has the milky consistency of ice cream. It is super tasty. I love it. Very nice vanilla flavor also. So make sure to join the Steam in the Kitchen Club and receive prizes like this each month. And we'll see you next month in our club. All right, bye. Make sure you join us next month for our Steam in the Kitchen Club. You can get fun prizes like this in the mail each month for less than $12 per month. You can get um, free videos just like this one on YouTube. So make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next month in our Steam in the Kitchen Club.